Fearful and nervous, she began to question what was happening to her. Looking back, it was at this point that it became clear that Saul's friendship had not been an accident of fate. Saul recognized what seemed to be a supernatural dimension to what was happening in Emma's life, and her spirituality and wisdom began to manifest as she took the lead and asked people to come after work and join them in prayer. So when we were praying, then that's the time that I, you know, I uh, saw like a vision. I saw this lady, lady uh, is smiling at me, uh, wearing a, a white uh, gown with a, a gold uh, lining on her uh, uh, mantle, and she has a uh, crown, she's wearing crown, beautiful. And uh, she's smiling at me, and I said to my friend, so there is the lady, she's, she's, uh, she's here, and uh, she's, uh, she's smiling at me. I don't understand why, what's that, you know? So I asked Saul, I asked Saul, you know, Saul, what's happening to me? Do you think that I'm, I'm getting crazy? I said, do you think, how come you don't see what I'm seeing? And then every time that we pray, I'm seeing that lady, but in different clothes, you know? Sometimes I see her that uh, she's wearing like a gown uh, colored, uh, green color, but there's so many uh, uh, precious stones, different colors, red, green, blue, you know, around her. And it's like she's, uh, she's like uh, pregnant, you know. I, I saw her and then I saw also a lady who was wearing um, go, uh, blue sass. And uh, she's the one, my friend is the one who always tell me, she's the uh, Our Lady of Lourdes, you know. Because I don't even know the titles, you know. But I, I knew, I know God, the Blessed Mother, but I don't know the titles of the Blessed Mother. All I know, that's the Blessed Mother, the Mother of God. When I, when I see her, it gives me an idea of how Bernadette was like, how the Fatima children were like, you know, uh, how, how Juan Diego was like. And most of all, it gives me an idea of what are the kinds of people that really attracts God. God, the kind of people that sort of seduces God. God falls in love with these kinds of people. I think the Lord showed me in many ways that this person, Emma, was truly, truly sent to do a mission. For the Lord. In the beginning, uh, I just go to the church, but I was a little, you know, I was uh, behind, behind the people. I felt that I was not worthy, you know, to be with them. We, we studied humility, we read about humility, we read about the simplicity of the saints and so on, so on and so forth. But it's different when you see it incarnated in a person. But in my heart, you know, I always trust, trust like a I don't, you know, I don't question, I don't uh, ask, I don't want to ask so much, you know, like because I knew that this is my life, then I have to move on, you know. I have to be strong because my life is my children. I have to be strong to work as nanny housekeeper because I have to earn more money and to send it to the Philippines because that's my strength. My strength was my loved ones, my children. She's just a, uh, not just a holy person, but she's just a, a down-to-earth, you know, a really nice person. And one night, you know, I was, uh, I was uh, asleep, you know, I went to my bed, you know, and I was in my deep sleep, really deep, really deep. And all of a sudden, I opened my eyes, you know, I saw this lady, the lady that always, you know, see, I, I already knew her, you know, because she introduced herself to me. She was holding this... Uh, Long, you know, long, a long rosary is, uh, you know, blue, blue colors, uh, it's like crystal, beautiful, you know, and she was smiling at me beside my, my bed and she said, my child, she said to me, I want you to, I come, you come with me, come, let's go down, I will teach you how to pray the rosary. The lady came on three successive nights and on the last night, now that you know how to pray anak, you know, like pray uh, my child, she said, I want you to pray by yourself. So I prayed, you know, I prayed and uh, I did this uh, Holy Rosary, you know, the uh, glorious, sorrowful, you know, and the uh, joyful. Then after I finished, you know, I was on my knees, 
Uh, she, saw, she was smiling at me and she said to me again, my child, I want you to start all over again. And she's smiling at me. It's a long, of course, when you pray, it's a long prayer, you know. And my knees was already shaking, you know. But I cannot, I cannot even uh, 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 sit down because uh, she was in front of me. So I said, maybe there's something, there's something wrong with my prayer. I said, maybe my prayer is not right, I said. So I closed my eyes and I said, I am going to pray the Holy Rosary. So when I pray, I put the sign of the cross uh, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And then I felt, you know, that light close my eyes, and I I can see the bright light, you know, in front of me. And I said, I believe in God, the Father Almighty. And then my heart opened up because I said, I believe in God. What I said, I believe in you, Lord. I believe in you. I believe. I believe. So when I said it, that you know how I felt, you know, my heart opened up and I felt Jesus inside me. I felt, uh, you know, He came inside me. He came inside me. And then I cried, you know, I really cried, you know, the, the sorrowful, you know, when, when I was on that sorrowful mystery, I felt that I was there. i sorry, you know, because, you know, I cannot... <laughs> I felt the, you know, the sorrow, you know, because I saw Jesus. I became a part of that, you know, I became, I was there. I was there on that time that Jesus was so sad, you know, and I felt it, you know, and I, I also experienced, you know, the glorious, you know. In that glorious, I felt that beautiful experience, you know, that I was there also. And then so I cried and I cried and I cried, you know. So after I finished my, my, my prayer, you know, I was, I was crying and the Blessed Mother was smiling, you know. She was smiling and she asked me, my child, she said to me, Wait, what did you feel when you, uh, when you prayed this, you know, this last that I asked you? And she said to me, I, I, and I said to the Blessed Mother, I felt the Lord inside me. My heart opened up, and now I understand, you know, I understand the Lord. I understand the prayer, the Holy Rosary. It's the Lord. It's the, it's the journey of God. So, so I, and then the Blessed Mother said to me, that is the real prayer. That's the true prayer, Anak, my child, that you did coming from your heart and in your mind. So I really felt God inside me. And then later on, you know, I felt this passion since, you know, I, I understand and I, I knew God already in my life. And I know I believe in God, but I didn't know the Lord. I just know the Lord that God is here, but I don't even know God, no. So, Blessed Mother taught me how to pray, and I understand, you know, I understand that rosary. We have to pray the rosary because that's Jesus, that's Jesus, the story of the Lord and the, the rosary. Then I understand now about God, you know, and I feel now I'm feeling all this, you know, the pain. The sorrow, the joy, you know, the message, love, peace, and joy is in that sorrow that, you know, to be with God is to have to accept everything. Accept whatever God wants you to do, you have to accept it with all this, you know, because God, God loves us so much, you know, and then the message that He said to me about Pieta, then I understood. Then Jesus said, You will carry this Pieta. Pieta, and it's been open around the world that I didn't even know. I didn't even know Pieta. And then I realized the message Pieta, the meaning of Pieta is compassion, pity, loyalty to the highest degree, loyalty to the Lord, loyalty to God who created us, a profound love that neither life nor death can destroy, that we have to love the Lord, you know, total surrender to the will of God, you know. So that's the meaning of Pieta, and that's what I carry, you know, and, and I thank God that He always helped me even though that I don't even know anything, you know, total surrender to what he said to me, 
Yes, Lord. I didn't say yes, Lord, but it's my heart who said it. Yes, Lord, because I don't even know anybody in Canada. I don't know people in Canada. But because I, and I believe in God, God came to me. I just trust, trust whatever he said to me. And that's still, still, I'm still doing it. And I thank God that yeah, people who heard about this, you know, love, peace, and joy. The uh, uh, people, you know, become prayerful. You know, it's only simple, very simple. Love, peace, and joy. But it's so hard, very hard to, to feel it because uh, I felt, you know, there's no peace anymore for my brothers and sisters here. Like, love for the Lord, you know. And maybe that's the reason that God said, you know, you have to spread this message, love, peace, and joy, because I chose you, little child. She taught me how to pray. She taught me how to love the Lord. Everything that the Lord wants of us, she was teaching us. Through Emma, I've learned forgiveness. And forgiveness is freedom. So it changed my life, so I went back and had a confession and started going to Mass every day and staying for adoration. And I do this till now. Known fondly to the group as Mama, Baslisa El Tanal and her husband were the first to witness Emma in a trance. There was a, a bright, bright uh, light in front of me that I was covered with that light. And then there was, there was a figure, you know, and I heard a voice. I couldn't even look because it was really, really, really uh, bright. And then I heard a voice and said, my child, I want you to get up and look at me. So I was, because I was prostrating myself, so I got up and I was on my knees and I was like this. It's like uh, I felt that I'm, uh, I'm not worthy, I'm not worthy to look. And I felt that I was little, like it's a little dot. I felt that I was little dot, you know, on that time. And then he said to me, I am your Lord. He said to me, he introduced himself to me, I am your Lord. I am, I am, he said to me, you know, and uh, he said something, he said something uh, about me, and he said that he, uh, I am your Lord, and uh, uh, you have a mission to carry my child, and said, you know, I want you to find the sacred word, book that all the, uh, all the questions that you want to know are in that book, that sacred book. It's the light, you know, there's, there was a pulsating light. He was talking to me on that pulsating light and asking me to find that sacred book. And I had to find it, you know, so I went to the library and find the sacred book.